Who's next? Hey, I'm Sapphire. Wanna hear something scary? And now we close this volume's final chapter with a story written by username Amethyst Locke. My friend Shelly sent me an email last week about her trip to Arkansas, where I'm from. We have been close friends since kindergarten, but she recently moved away for her career. Hey Sarah, I hope you're doing well. I know you're into all that horror shit, so I wanted to tell you about this haunted house me and Randy went to recently when we were in Arkansas. It's by some old guy named Mr. Wilkinson. He and his family decorate the house and it has some awesome scares. Randy found this on Yelp and it has almost all five star ratings by like over a hundred people. The house is very small though, but I promise it'll freak you out. Bring along your chicken shit friend, Mindy. Address is 1124 Cherry Highland, Arkansas. Let me know how you liked it. Love ya. Of course I was interested, so I called her up for more details. First, there are gonna be some cheap Halloween decorations out in the front, and some mildly scary stuff inside where you'll see some people standing completely still or laying down. If you walk slow, they will jump at you. It's a great scare, but if you get scared easily, just power walk through the house. It's not very hard to get through and exit to the backyard. Watch out for that fake blood stuff on the walls. It's hard to remove from your clothes later. But when you're in the backyard, that's where the best scares begin. Once you get there, you'll notice that there aren't any exits. So after one to two minutes of walking around, the backyard lights will go out and it'll be pitch black. A very large clown with bloody red teeth will show up soon and take you somewhere. And then I don't want to ruin the rest of the scares for you, so you'll have to see for yourself. So my friend Mindy and I get to this house on Cherry Road. We push the door open and it made a loud creak. We saw the cheap decorations outside the house, which were very lame and made me wonder why even bother with these. Once inside, we noticed it was a medium sized room and we couldn't see a whole lot except the carpet area because it was very dim. The only thing giving light was the television set. There was an obese man laying on the floor with vomit all over him. Next to him was a mannequin with lipstick and no clothes on. We slowly started to walk past him, but only thing on my mind right now was the clown with bloody teeth. We kept walking and followed the bloody trail on the carpet, which told us which direction to go. As we walked past the man, he made a very loud belch, which made me almost crap my pants. I grabbed Mindy and made a power walk over to the loud staticky television set. It had two small red handprints on them. Next came the long hallway in which I could see the exit door to the backyard up ahead. Shelly wasn't kidding when she said it was a small house. As we slowly walked in the hallway, the clown kept appearing in my head, smiling with his crimson drenched teeth. We passed a closed door with blood smeared all over it. We heard screaming inside that room and then a loud gunshot. The sound really hurt my eardrum to be honest. They have had to use a real gun for this sound effect. We kept walking and saw a bucket of red and yellow paint on the floor with no paintbrush in it. So far, this house was excellent. I couldn't wait to get to the backyard but a part of me didn't want to go because I didn't know what to expect. This clown with the bloody teeth was in my nightmare last night and he's been on my mind ever since. We heard a maniacal laugh from the room we just passed. The loud and deep voice spoke while laughing. Who's next? Then we heard the sound of loud boots walk towards the door and the handle slowly turned. Mindy and I were just about ready to scream and ran for it. We opened the door to the backyard and literally jumped the three wooden steps onto the grass. This was it, the moment of truth. I was literally shaking as if it was 10 below. The door which we came from shut behind us with a very loud thud. It was Shelly. I was shocked and happy at the same time, knowing that I had signal back here. So, did you like it? Pretty creepy shit, huh? Shelly, I'm gonna have to call you back. We just got in the backyard. But yes, this was one of the best scares I've had so far. So can I ask you, where is this clown going to take us? Oh no, you're gonna find that out for yourself. I don't wanna ruin it for you. Well, call me back when you're done with the house. Bye. We waited. Minute had gone by very slowly. We can hear the crickets chirping in the distance. Two minutes, three, four, five. We were really getting restless on where this clown was. I hope he wasn't gonna jump scare us from behind, so I kept looking back every few seconds. I called Shelly back. Hey Shelly, we're still waiting for the clown to show up, but while I still have signal, Minnie wanted to know once we get back on the street after we're done, from Cherry Road do we make a left or a right on Hillview to get to the freeway? Did you say Cherry Road? This house is on Cherry Lane. What house are you in? 
Thanks for joining me in this collection of stories from the internet. Do you have any suggestions for future volumes and stories you're dying to hear? Let me know in the comments. Like this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and check out our other videos. And if you dare to follow me, my links are in the description below. Until next time, sweet dreams.